two of the league's strongest backcourts tonight. And this is probably the kind of game that suits your taste. Am I right? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it, Kevin. This game is going to come down the guard play. It's not just about the backcourt scoring. It's just as much about that strong perimeter defense. And now Washington starting group. They've got Gilbert Arenas. Kispert is out there with Butler. Then there's Hill. And it's Lanier in at the center position. Free throw drops for Hill. And the word you got to use is explosive out there when, when talking about Grant Hill. He's one of those guys who doesn't wait for the game to come to him. He, he goes out and just makes things happen. Now Butler after the missed three from Jay Crowder. And the shot goes in oh, from Lanier. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Arenas against Teal. Arenas can't hit. A slow start for Atlanta in this one. It's a five-point game. They went to Washington for the last meeting with the Wizards, and they came out with a win. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. Yeah, it never stopped working. One of those games where just everybody was making shots, continual flow, and a very professional win. Hunter, a three, sinks the three-pointer. Now, Dennis Smith Jr. is dropping those kind of passes. It's going to help the offense just run a bit more smooth. Here's Butler. The Wizards with another miss. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Smith, the pass to Crowder. And Crowder slams it in. Recognizing spacing on the floor there, Dennis Smith Jr. with a nice job of delivering. Hill working it over. It's blocked. He goes out of bounds. Last touch by Hunter. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Here's Hill playing Oklahoma City. He was nearly unstoppable. Pass to Butler. Now here's Kispert. Five to shoot. To stop the run. And Tyler not giving up an inch on that shot attempt. And now we have a moment to recognize the player of the week in the Eastern Conference, Dennis Smith. And the way that he has been able to kind of create something out of nothing for his teammates has been remarkable. Fantastic and, and timely passing combined with his vision is something that all players should aspire to have. Pass to Hunter for three. And heel with the basket on the assist by Hunter. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just a great ball move. So timeout called here. The first for the Wizards. Checking for Buck. And a quick look at some of the numbers for him. And suddenly his feel for the three-point shot has left him. It's been a tough go the past five games. The percentage from long range, not close to what it was earlier. But he's not going to give up on it. And he'll try to get it going here tonight. Hunter on the wing. His last time he had 24 points. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Smith against Arenas. Lanier, the pass to Arenas. It's taken away by Smith. And then Hunter with the jam. And this is right around the time when one team might start to pull away. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead Trying to put the other team away and threatening here. Smith with it. Gilbert Arenas covering. Ooh, oh! Ouch. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Yeah, you wondered if they would take some time to find their A game. They did it at jump ball. They've been awesome oh, today. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. And that one is hammered home. 
assisted. Well, by. if you don't take Bernie care of the ball, it. fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. The try by Hill, and it's Hill with the jam. Yeah, that quick first step that Hill has is just part of what makes him so special when he's driving the basketball. It's also his mindset. Now, no one's going to get in his way once he's on the move. And even against defense as tight as that, you almost expect him to still bury those. Arenas with it. Now Smith defending. Down low. Here's Rodman. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And as a free throw shooter, Robin has his challenges. One of those guys who almost shoots a better percentage from the field. And he makes the first. Bagley, he's checked in for Washington. Poole comes in for Corey Kispert. And both free throws good for Rodman. 104 left in the first quarter. The pass to Hawkes. Off target from outside. And so Poole will bring it up for the Washington Wizards. They trail by six. Well, one of the more explosive players and silky smooth Poole finding a way to get to the rim. Smith. Oh, man. Fans love that. Listen to that. I love that sound you hear. Like to see the little guys get up, and Dennis Smith Jr. can absolutely do that. Bagley sets a screen for Arenas. The three from Poole. Rebound by the Hawks. It's that mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. Impressive to see them on the road just step up and have that kind of offensive performance. First trip to the line for him here. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And if you watch Pool enough, you're really going to appreciate that he can get it done in so many ways on the offensive end. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Here's Hunter and the Hawks Hunter. getting another basket right there. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. There seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot capitalize and continue to be aggressive. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. Hawks ahead. They lead by six. We'll be back shortly live from State Farm Arena. Just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Hawks. They have started this game looking to push the tempo, and it's working for them. Great job of scoring in transition. Sometimes the offense can be keyed by just quick possession. So you get a steal, and you can get out in transition. They seem to be very focused on that end of the floor. So on the floor for Washington. Jordan Poole is out there with Arenas. And it's Dennis Rodman. Then there's Toppin. And it's Bagley in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And here we go. Murray heading to the hoop. Again, the Hawks score. Well, the open man's out there. You got to feed him. And Murray gets the job done. Arenas against Smith. Puts it up from 12. It's good. And the Hawks lead is cut down to just eight points with the bucket from Gilbert Arenas. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. This is it to Bagley. Takes the 13-footer, and Bamba pulls it down. Atlanta leading by 11. For three, Murray has it. Smith with the assist that time. Smith's got six assists here tonight. Well, Murray's got the range. It's the consistency he's looking for. And the foul on Dennis Smith Jr. That's his first foul. Karan Butler has checked in for Washington. Number 15, Karan Butler. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. 
Wizards passing it around. Poole with no one around. The Wizards with another miss. Early in the season, there are always some surprises, Greg. It goes to show you how impossible the NBA season is to actually predict. And you never know what's going to happen, Kevin, until the game starts. Some teams look good and flop out of the gates. Other teams take giant leaps forward. And Arena's always prepared to strike from anywhere, and that definitely includes the mid-range. Bamba. And just scrapes and claws for that offensive rebound and, and doesn't take any chances there with the put. And Jay strong work all around and the rebound and the stuff both. Wow. Here's Butler. Good on the bucket. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Smith, the best to Hawkes. Over Butler. Shot is good off the bat. Yeah. Hawkes has got nine. And a lot of teams avoid the mid-range jumper, but they seem to be using it well. And here's Poole for three. And here's Hunter. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. Murray, no good. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded. And he missed him too. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players. Just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that. It cost you another play. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. With the bars in the action, let's bring you the list of teams that have been lighting it up over the last 10 games. The Hawks, number one. Yeah, what an impressive run for this club. Everybody seems to be in a rhythm in terms of scoring. And they are putting up some big numbers. This is one where the second foul is probably going to cost you some minutes in this game. And he gets the basket. And now, yep, this will be a coach's challenge. We thought that might happen, triggering a review of the personal foul. Ten seconds. Team third. Shooting for Washington. Grant Hill at the line. For and I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The act. The previous play is under review. Real time. The wonders of technology. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able now to challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still feels it's put the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to review it. With double checking and the game continues on. Now Murray, 23 points his last outing. There's the try, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Jordan Poole picks one up. Love when Murray attacks the defense like that because it sometimes forces them to compromise themselves. The Hawks shooting their first free throws of the night right here. And so Murray nails both of them. Here's Hill. He's got eight. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Tapping a screen on Murray. From deep. Another shot. Lanier. That's good. Lanier's got eight points. The tenacity on the interior. Just battling. Bringing that effort and will for second chance points. And showing some terrific range. 16 points for Big Dog. And they're right around. 50% for the game on their threes, and they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. Outside Butler. Rebound Atlanta. Hunter's got nine rebounds now tonight. For three, Murray. Rebounded by the Wizards. Lanier's got four rebounds in this game. Pass to Hill. And Hill throws it down. And Poole's vision developing right in front of us. Smith dishes to Hunter. Here's Pamba. Here's Smith. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Smith's got his second bucket of the night. Man, that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. And for a big guy, Obi is quick off the floor. Smith kicks to Bamba. 
Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Smith's got nine assists now tonight. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. Now the feed, the top. Oh, yeah. This is then top and getting a little bit fancy with the throw down that time. Smith, the pass to Hawkins. And again, Atlanta with the triple. Another good play. This is how they yeah. built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. And it's Smith missing. Wizards trail by 18. Hill kicks to Toppin. Bamba with the block. The main weapon in Bamba's attack, the slender long arms he possesses, helps him block lots of shots. And so it's Atlanta holding a big 18-point lead to close the quarter. And more than anything, their three-point shooting is what sparked them. A fantastic night from long range so far. And we'll be right back after this. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome. A clinic in execution so far as it's been a dominant showing for the Atlanta Hawks. The roster was constructed with speed in mind. We're seeing that speed, especially in transition tonight. I mean, they've straight up got him on the run. No, I'm kidding. I'm trying to remember the last time I ran like a full sprint. Uh, it was like lunchtime when we were in line trying to get lunch. And moving on, let's take a peek at how the East is shaping up here in the midseason. Taking a look at the Hawks, you know, Halloween was a long time ago, but this team is still the scariest group in the league. They're striking fear into every team that has to go against them, Zach. You're starting to scare me, Kenny. <laughs> oh, okay. That wasn't scary. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. And you know, Big Dog has been really making it happen, guys. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. Yeah, guys like him love to stuff the stat sheet. He's doing it here. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Hunter is out there with Okongwu. Then there's DeJounte Murray. Then it's Heal. And it's Smith in at the point guard position. That's the group starting the second half for Quinn Snyder. Hill against Murray. The drive by Hill. And Hill throws it down. And making it look easy right now. When Hill finds his rhythm, well, he keeps in attack mode. Here's Hunter. And there's the drive. And then Hunter with the jam. And how about just floating to the rim on that slam? Boy, when he gets up, I mean, he gets up. Arenas dishes to Hill. Wizards passing it around. Shot clock at six. Here's Butler. It's deflected. Butler with the steal. And the shot is good. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Smith the pass to heel. Here's Okongwu. And it's Murray with the jam. Some verticality out there from DeJounte Murray as he rises up. 
Smith against Arenas. With some art. Good. Okay. Good game plan to start the second half. Three of four so far from the field. Shooting. You know, interviewing former players, they say what they miss most is the camaraderie. What about you, Brent? I would say, Kevin, right behind the camaraderie is another C word, the competition. And there's no doubt that there's only a few ways that you could ever feed that. Playing at the highest level, being a member of the National Basketball Association, that's something special. Here's Arenas. Hunter grabs the miss. Hunter's got 11 rebounds in the game. Murray is surveying the D. And it's Murray with the jam. Great concentration for DeJounte that time, just playing right through the contact. Wizards have gone 3 of 5 to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Other pass to Lanier. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Lanier's got 10. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. And that one's good. Hunter making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Here's Arenas. Hunter with some nice defense. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for the Wizards. That is game three of this four-game trip. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Wizards will retain possession. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Wizards making a switch here. Rodman's checked in. And the Wizards with possession. Pass to Hill. Now Kispert. Five on the clock. Trains the three-pointer. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Another possession, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Hill passes to Rodman. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And another assist for him. Another possession, another assist. You know, Greg, he's sharing the ball well, hitting his guys in their spots. Rodman sets the screen for Arenas. And the jam by Dennis Rodman. And you can tell uh, Arenas just has that ability as a distributor. He can pick out the ready shooter and get the oh. ball. You have to prevent him from getting to the paint, uh, unless you want to see a highlight. The pass to Kispert. He kicks to Rodman. Inside. Hachimura comes with the double team. To the left side wing. Kisper wide open. He fires. Kisper. Good. The assist goes to Hill. Hill's got three assists in the game. Passes it to Okongwu. Okongwu with a screen on Arenas. Arenas grabs the miss. Right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. Hill, no good. The Hawks leading by 19 points. Hunter for three. Another three for Atlanta. And you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, he's just lighting him up. Here's Hill. Again, the Wizards good for two. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. Smith. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Great concentration. That was a special play by Dennis Smith, Jr. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. At the line for Atlanta, Dennis Smith, Jr. One shot. We've got 28 seconds left to play here in the third. Pass to Rodman. To the middle. And it's sent back by Okongwu. He had a nice Three open look right there. Butler's got five points in the quarter. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. And Matador defense 
That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Hawks on top, just dominating this one. We'll be back shortly live from State Farm Arena. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Fourth quarter on the court for the Wizards. Dennis Robin is out there with Butler. Then it's Bagley. Then there's Jordan Poole. And it's Hill in at the two. He was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. Yep, it counts. Washington shooting at 52% for the field. They're clicking. Cool against Smith. Three-pointer, and the call will be against Marvin Bagley. Marvin Bagley, that's his first foul. And Poole has that unlimited kind of range. I wonder who influenced that. The Hawks leading by 19. Smith in the post, guarded by Poole. And again, another assist. And that's his 20th assist. Wow. Just doing a great job at orchestrating the offense. And it's Hill with the jam. Yeah, one of the great in-game dunkers we have. Grant Hill, he might not put on a show with his dunks, but it doesn't make him any less impressive. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the board. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. And another assist. It's amazing he's hearing the franchise record for most assists in a single game. This team feeds off his unselfishness and his commitment to keeping everyone else involved. Agley with a screen on Murray. Offensive rebound. Agley sets a screen for Poole. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in cracking this huge lead. Well, that's how to protect the rim without fouling. Force him into an awkward release. A bit of an adjustment on the layup. That's a layup for him. He's just too open. Smith kicks to Murray. Hawks passing it around. Smith with it. Guarded now by Dennis Rodman. Wizards trail by 19. To the inside. Bagley. Oh! That's blocked. Murray outside. And again, another assist. The chemistry he has with his guys is impressive. Keeping his head on a swivel. Actively seeking out his teammate. And it's sent back by Okongwu. Smith finds Hachimura. Washington with the rebound. Poole the pass to Bagley. Puts the move on. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming out. We believe in the Brent. The three-point line was introduced as a one-year trial back in 1979. Yeah, crazy. He was just so successful in the ABA. And then the 79-80 season kicks in. And if you remember, Kevin, Chris Ford, the first player for the Boston Celtics that was able to knock down the NBA's official first three-pointer. And the game Bagley has reminds me of a little bit of Chris Bosh, a sweet lefty who plays with force and passion. Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up 
in that situation. Well, the defense very attentive to him in the first quarter, but he's finally gotten loose in the second and making them pay. Rodman with a screen on Smith. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the guard seconds. Here's a look at what's coming up for the Wizards. On Wednesday, they'll go up against the Jazz in Utah. Then on Thursday, they'll take on John Wall. And, you know, nobody loves playing on the road, but it does offer a good chance to see exactly what your team is made of. This team is going to find out a lot about itself over the next stretch of games. Butler, he's another possession, another assist. And that last assist ties it for the franchise record for most in a game. How about the night he's had? He's been on time and pinpoint with this passing all game long. Fantastic performance to tie the franchise record. Top and he's checked in for Dennis Rodman. Here's Hill, and another miss by Washington. And here's Hunter. He'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Smith kicks to Murray. But Trey, rebound by Butler. And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball in the three-point lane. Hachimura, the pass to Smith, Washington and Corey foul. Kispert is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Fouling like that isn't how you get back in the game. Pools checked in for Washington. And Smith gets double teamed beyond the arc. It's hauled in by Lanier. Lanier's got rebound number five here tonight. Butler finds Poole. Fires the three. Atlanta with the rebound. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on him. And another assist for him. And sure enough, he's just set the single game franchise record for assists. Showing that vision both to find his teammates and to reach new heights. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot. And for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. And that one's good, Hunter. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a solid offensive game to help them get this lead. And so it's the Hawks taking care of business in this one. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. Oh boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, Big Dog. Ahora, ay. Hey.